The video taken from a customer's point of view shows that the regular price and discounted price at a popular supermarket chain are clearly the same. The video since posted to social media has garnered the ire of many consumers bashing the entity, but also raised the question of what can be done to prevent their exploitation. Speaking at Monday's pre-cabinet press briefing, Commerce Minister Honorable Emma Hippolyte told journalists that there are agencies within the Ministry of Commerce as well as non-governmental organizations to handle situations such as these. If you see an issue as a consumer, um, you could come through the Ministry of Commerce, through the, the Consumer Affairs Department, as well as you have this private sector body that you can present to. We also we have a mechanism where the first thing we do, we attempt to bring the consumer, the person with the complaint, with the business party, the, which is the offender, in. Uh, most times they try to, it is resolved before it goes any further. If not, there is also a structure within um, our, facilitated by our um, department, where there's a unit that can adjudicate on things like that. When it relates to a penalty for such actions, the minister stated that of the reported instances that the Department of Consumer Affairs have received, many end in third-party mitigations. I don't think uh, we've ever reached the stage where there are penalties. There is, as I said, there is a, a body that is set up which has authority under the law, but we've never reached a stage um, where it is presented to them. Most times the matter is dealt with by both parties sitting at the table. However, she reminded consumers that they have the power and they should be aware of exploitation and know their rights. As a consumer, the issue that you raise, there's something I can remember in commerce, on your taught commerce, where they tell you to let the buyer beware. So when we are shopping, most times, I know even myself, we, we are quick to shop, we just pick up things, we don't look at the expiry date. As shoppers, I think we need to to look a little more, look at the content of the products that we purchase, do a little bit more investigation, sometimes do a little bit more price comparison where we can, so that we understand what we have in our hands. You have the power, you have the dollars. As long as you are the one paying, consumers have the power. But just be careful how we do it. For Choice News Now, I am Chelsea Austinay.